So to solve this problem, very similar to the problem we did before, um, to solve this problem, remember, we have to multiply our whole monomial terms times each of my three terms inside the parentheses. All right? So the first one, I have a negative 3 times a negative 2. Remember, uh, let's just write it out. Negative 3n squared times, I'm going to put this in parentheses. Rather than multiplying it, right, rather than writing it out, times negative 2n squared, a more simpler way, and I think efficient, especially when you have negative signs, is just to put it around parentheses. It means the same thing. You're going to multiply those two. Um, then let's do, since this is negative, it's going to be a negative 3n squared times 3n. And then again, a negative 3n squared times 4. And I'll put those in parentheses too. Why not? OK? Now, guys, multiply monomials. This is what we first did. This is the first thing we learned. You multiply the numbers. Negative 3 times negative 2 is going to be a positive 6. n squared times n squared is n to the 2 plus 2. Not n to the, or not, well, not 2 times 2, it's n 2 plus 2. Here I have negative 3 times 3 is going to be a negative 9 n squared plus n to the first power. Minus negative 3 times 4 is a negative 12 n squared. 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 plus 1 is 3. 6 n to the fourth minus 9 n cubed minus 12 n squared. And there you go. Got it. Good?